here we are at the Ducati Roadshow and we're going to be taking out the Desert X on a little trip with these guys. So here's the, uh, the tent with all the staff and behind me we've got the Desert X so let's take it out and I'll see you out on the road. Put it in touring mode, power full. The switch gear all feels pretty decent. I could get used to this comfort, that's for sure. Oh, got a nice torquey engine. Power delivery is really nice. And the uh, Brembo calipers already I can feel they've got some bite to them and we get caught at a red light hopefully they'll wait for us somewhere down there Look at this thing, it's ridiculous. I kind of want to take it off-road, it feels very, uh, very peppy. 110 horsepower and man, it sounds lovely as well. I'm not actually 100% sure of the configuration of the engine. I think, is it maybe a, some kind of twin, maybe V-twin engine? I don't know, I'll put it somewhere on screen now. But oh, the noise it makes is lovely. It's got a really nice um, kind of whir to it, that typical Ducati sound. And I think it would just pop the front wheel quite easily. <laughs> that dude's on the Diavel X probably for the first time. I can say after riding one of those, he's going to have a smile from ear to ear. But I also have a smile from ear to ear at the moment, because I'm on this beast and I've somehow got it in uh, full beam. I uh, don't know what's going on with... Um, how do I sort this out? Hmm, not sure. Okay, so the uh, full and high beam is literally you just uh, flip forward a little switch there. I don't know if you can see it, just on my little index finger there. It's a tiny little switch, but actually I quite like it. I mean, I think this bike is going to be really well suited to somebody who wants to tour a lot, but also wants to go on those off-road blast across maybe oh I don't know the desert maybe you can feel it's definitely reasonably light and nimble enough to chuck it around on you know dunes or off-road trails but it's also got a really nice comfortable seating position for touring as well I don't know what that noise was. Oh, these brakes are strong. I've been riding it for about 10 minutes now and 
I really just wanted to have a chance to gather my thoughts because I haven't been able to stop grinning. This bike is fantastic. It's got a lovely surge of torque that just feels really well balanced throughout the rev range. I mean, this is an off-road machine, but it doesn't have hustle on road as well. It's a fantastic all-rounder. It's got a quick shifter and a blipper. I didn't realise that. Quick shifter and blipper. So it feels reasonably sporty, but it's got this really nice enduro, comfortable riding position. You know, I could really see yourself getting on with this for long tours where you really want to do some off actual off-roading. A lot of the bigger adventure touring bikes these days, you know, they say that they can do off-road, but you know, there's some of the GSs, Multistradas and the likes, they're really geared more towards, you know, 80-90% on-road, you know, 10-20% off-road. You know, it's can do the odd off-road off -road stint. But I feel this bike is 50-50. Is it's going to be fantastic on-road. You know, it feels really nimble. But also it's going to absolutely tear up the trails. And allow people with off-road abilities to really put this bike through its paces. Now the engine is 110 horsepower from, a, I believe, a 937cc engine. This bike's got everything you'd expect from you know, multiple rider modes, TFT dash that's in this enduro vertical configuration, which I love. It's got really fantastic looking headlights on the front, quick shifter and blipper up and down. This is a really well kitted out machine and I absolutely love it. I wish this ride out with Ducati Roadshow had some off-road bits in it. I know it doesn't, it's going to be all on road, but this bike is seriously just chomping at the bit to go off-road. And it feels really nice stood up actually. So the seat height of this bike is standard, I believe is around the 870 to 880 millimeters. I'll put the exact figure uh, on screen now. But there's also a kit to lower the bike and a kit to raise the bike if you want to buy that if you're slightly taller or slightly shorter and you want to adjust the standard seat height now what i feel this bike has is a really nice seating position you're really high up you can see a decent way down the road you know i'm looking right over the top of everyone's heads here even on that multi strider i think this is a bit taller uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but it does definitely make you feel like you've, you've got a presence on the road. You feel seen. And with those two great big LED headlights on the front, you know, this bike is going to be seen. It's going to be well visible down the road. The colour schemes that this bike come in, I think are fantastic. I love the kind of retro styling that the bike's got. And to go with that, this white and red colour is really minimalistic but also gives it that awesome retro feel so when it comes to suspension you've got Kyaba forks up front and a monoshock on the rear ground clearance is 250 millimeters so plenty of room to hop over rock and logs and all that stuff on trails if you've got the talent that is but for an off-road machine it doesn't have feel nimble through these corners it's not a slouch that's for sure oh it's the closest to off-roading I'm going to get today. <laughs> it's definitely got some vibes through the uh, 
the seat and the handlebars a little bit. So who is this bike for? I think it's for people who want to do regular touring, they want the option to go off-road, and they want to look fucking cool when doing it. This bike looks awesome, rides amazing, and I think it's a really fantastic all-rounder, you know. People with the talent would be able to take this bike off-road. They're going to have fantastic fun on the roads. You know, it's going to be... It feels like it would just pop wheelies as well if you wanted to, if you're that way inclined. Brakes are fantastic. The power delivery is fantastic. And it's going to be able to carry luggage well. A pillion if you need to. It's just a fantastic all-rounder. And it's got that Ducati old-school retro look to it. You can't go wrong with this. One thing that is clearly evident after riding a sports bike is the comfort of this thing. The seat feels really nice and soft. Moulds to your ass. You know, I'm sure you could do seriously long days in the saddle on this and not have a problem. Standing up feels like fantastic, really balanced. these kind of nice flat side panels to the uh, fuel tank which is just nice and easy to grip onto when you're standing up you know this bike is kind of just egging you on to stick it in second and pop a clutch up wheelie it's uh <laughs> it's got a little bit of a hooligan attitude to it and i like that i really like that so the desert x fantastic bike 100% recommend if you're looking at getting one of these you will not be disappointed it's a beautiful bike mm -hmm.